Hey fellow world dwellers, it's Angry Turtle and today we have another weapon guide, this time Ultra Sight Gatling Laser. I will not do dedicated guide for regular Gatling Laser because in this case regular Gatling Laser is just inferior version of Ultra Sight Gatling Laser or if you like other way around, Ultra Sight Gatling Laser is superior version of Gatling Laser. Then that's to put it in simple ways. Now, how to get it? That's actually not an easy task unless you buy it or get it from a friend. But if you want to get it, you need to craft it. There is like no legendary that will be guaranteed. There is no weapon that you can just pick up on the world. Then you need to get a plan and plan you can get from events and dailies inside Cranberry Bog. Then whenever you see any event in Cranberry Bog, you do it until you get the plan for Ultra Sight Gatling Laser. And unfortunately, chance is low, then you will spend a lot of time in Cranberry Bog. Now, after you will be lucky to get the plan, let's take a look on the cost of crafting because you will need to craft a lot of Gatling lasers, Ultra Sight Gatling lasers, in order to then scrap them for mods. The side effect of this operation will be that you will get a lot of fusion cores, keep that in mind as you can get easily over encumbered. But now, where you find it and a quick comparison with regular Gatling laser. Regular Gatling laser you will find under heavy guns and variant of level 45 will do 53 damage. For comparison, Ultra Sight under Ultra Sight weapons Gatling laser will do 60 damage at level 45 and that's actually a significant difference taking into consideration that everything else in regards to those weapons is about the same. Now the crafting cost as you can see is quite high, Science Master rank 1 is required to craft it, what I recommend to equip before you start crafting is Science Expert, under Intelligence we are equipping Science Expert. And reason for that is energy guns cost fewer materials. You want that if you need to craft a lot of those guns. Now we take again a look on the crafting cost and you can see that it's lower. It's not halved, unfortunately, but it's definitely lowered. And I think there, there are some magazines that can lower it further. Then you can consider that if you really need to craft a lot. But enough about crafting, let's take a look on modifications. As after you unlock all the modifications, you need to choose what you want. And all the modifications are unlocked by scrapping with exception of Prime Receiver that of course is dropped by Scorch Beast and Scorch Beast Queen. Then what I recommend, I really recommend Prime Receiver. As you see, the Prime Receiver and other receivers that's huge increase in damage like 25% increase in your damage overall and this increase, unlike in other weapons like in ballistic weapons, here it's multiplicative, which means you really want prime receiver if you want to use this gun. The added benefit is, as long as you have a little bit of violet flux, you will be able to easily craft a lot of ultra side fusion cores. We'll go over that in a second, but other options if you just want to burn through like you have too many regular fusion cores and you get rid of them, I recommend true Gatling laser receiver. That's in my opinion the best one, although they all so similar that you cannot go wrong with any other receiver. Now about the barrel. Here you have a lot of options. I am a big fan of true type of a barrel that I'm using true long barrel. There is one interesting option as well, true charging barrels. I don't personally like it, but you can consider using it. What it does, your ammo will be basically twice as efficient as true long barrel, but in the same time, your DPS will be cut by half. Then that's a trade-off. More efficient ammo, less ammo used, but slower kills or fast kills, but more ammo used. Then that's basically the trade-off between those. I prefer to just run with true long barrel. I'm really happy with this one. After that we have sight and you can put reflex sight. I don't really want to do it because it increased the weight of the weapon and 
it's a little bit better accuracy, not much of a difference, and reflex sight is huge on this weapon, which means if you use it in first person, it obstructs a lot of view. I don't recommend it if you play in first person, but you need to test it out yourself to make a final decision. I don't like it. About the muzzle, there is beam focuser, but as well, another mod I do not recommend. It helps a little bit with accuracy and recoil, but there are two downsides. You are losing on the range, as you can see, and it overrides the color of the beam back to red. And ultra side gutting laser, if you don't put any muzzle, have nice green beam. Then, yeah, another mod I'm not using. And about the paint, I have only mind paint, therefore I'm using this one. Now let's take a closer look on weapon stats. The damage is generally good after this weapon is being fully modded and it's using ultra side fusion cores with prime receiver. What means you will rarely ever reload it, especially if you equip a proper perks to boost the capacity of the core. Then you can get 1000 shots out from a single core Plus you can use bubble head repair to boost it even a little bit farther to I think 1250 shots or something like that from core. Fire rate is insane, that's the highest fire rate from all the weapons. Insane fire rate. Especially my weapon because it's faster fire rate. Normally it would be slightly lower but still on top of all the fire rates. Wrench is great, accuracy amazing compared to other heavy guns. That's the heavy gun with great accuracy and wrench, like a sniper almost. Of course, the damage that you can see here is with my foot build and in Nerd Rage. The weapon itself is anti-armor, then there is no prefix that would boost this damage, but of course my build is affecting damage that you can see in here. Now about the ammo crafting. And important to say, you never want to craft regular fusion cores because it's just not worth it. Regular fusion cores you craft from chemistry station, but they are using stable fluxes, a lot of them per single core. You never craft it, you rather produce regular fusion cores at power plant workshops or just craft Gatling lasers, low level Gatling lasers, and it will give you fusion cores. Then, yeah, never craft fusion cores from chemistry station. Now, about our ultra side fusion cores, you can see without any perks, I'm getting two fusion cores and I'm spending one flux and two regular fusion cores. After applying ammo smith, it's going up to three fusion cores. If you have a legendary perk to craft more ammo, or if you ask a friend, if you have a friend with that perk, then you can get up to nine ultra side fusion cores from a single flux and two regular cores. Then Efficiency of ammo crafting, ultra sight ammo crafting is insanely good. Now, before we jump for a quick showcase, what you need to know is it is energy weapon, you don't want grounded mutation and about the perks, you want to use power user. That's the one that doubles the capacity of the fusion core. You really want to have it equipped if you plan to run with this weapon. And now finally the fun part, what means shooting super mutants and talking about legendary effects. As you can see, this weapon is incredibly efficient, incredibly accurate, can dish out insane DPS. I'm using here anti-armor, 25% faster fire rate, but basically all the rules that apply to other weapons applied here as well. Then what you want is either anti-armor or bloodied or aristocrats as your prefix and for the second star like the best option will be of course faster fire rate but damage while aiming is not bad either it's really good and will save you up and no this weapon is not the best weapon for dps on boss fight the best weapon for that scenario is the flamer but for everyday use considering efficiency and when you need to do a boss fight like it's very universal gun the only downside of this gun is spin up time although for whatever reason it doesn't feel as bad as other spin up weapons i don't know why is that it just 
feels better and more natural to use than let's say pepper shaker on or the gatling plasma i don't know why is that is it just me maybe it's just me i don't know but it just feels better and more natural to use it i don't know why at accuracy if you hip fire or if you aim it's insane i will show you maybe on some farther target and going back to the legendary effects for a moment about the third star there is really nothing super important about the third star you can go with a two star and you will be about as good as with the three star you can see how accurate it is the accuracy is insane unfortunately i don't know what happened with the scorch beast scorch beast is not home oh stop moving why he's how he's running so fast okay i got him anyway you can see it's almost like a heavy sniper only problem if you are firing you cannot really see target that is far away as it basically too small but anyway let's find the scorch beast okay we have a scorch beast you will now see how accurate this weapon is oh don't dare you fly away you see how accurate this weapon is this beam is like almost one consistent beam and now it's the reload it's not very fast not very slow but important thing is you rarely reload this weapon and important that i forgot to say never manually reload it because you will end up with partially charged cores in your inventory wait until core is fully depleted and then it will reload by itself and this scotch beast is out of range but look at damage now when she's flying over and yeah, she's dead as any weapon it's not very good if enemy is outside of the range because you are losing half of the damage on top of that in case of energy weapons losing the damage is really not great really not great especially with fast firing weapons like this one that damage per shot are already quite low if an enemy move far away and an enemy has high armor yeah, you can feel the damage drop off and there is actually no scorch in here oh there is one i found one. Oh, another one next to me and now he's dead the bonus of using the ultra side fusion cores if you don't know apart from the damage being 25 percent higher than when using normal cores you have additional 30 percent damage bonus versus scourge beast oh that's not the scourge beast i killed i don't have loot from this one then i don't know where is the scourge beast i killed i lost it but that doesn't matter i found the scorched yeah i really like this weapon that was my favorite weapon after 50 cal for a long time like i was running it so much like a year ago i think i was using it almost exclusively for some moment in time then yes this is definitely really good weapon if you never use it you should try if you will get opportunity and of course drop down the questions in comment section if you need to know something more in regards to ultra side gatling laser and that is everything i have to say and as always thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one